What is up, people? This is me, Spec Poo Football 24, giving my thoughts on the Eagles Falcons game. Oh, well, I gotta lie. Well, I can't. I can't. I gotta lie. I can't lie. Deep down, I'm still a little pissed off. And I will admit, I will eat crow. The Falcons whipped our ass that game. Not literally, not whip, whipped our ass, but from certain plays or certain players, they whipped our ass. Now, I know this may seem like excuses, but, you know, it is how it is. I'm going to point out the pros and cons about this game when it goes to the Eagles. The pros was this. Mur um, Murray had an okay game. He didn't really rush that well because of our offensive line. That's a con right there. Our offensive line was not doing too well in the first half. This is this, this was Eagles back in – this was week one Eagles, the way how I saw it when we're going into this game where the Eagles are doing absolutely shitty in the first half, but then come back then in the second half, they start getting some kind of confidence somewhere from, I guess from Chick Kelly. And then they try to come back and win the game. This is also the exact same thing that happened back in 2008, 2009 when the Eagles faced the Arizona Cardinals and they end up losing that game. So this is where I'm going to get with this. Um, Murray had an okay game scored scored two of our touchdowns. Bradford had a brilliant game. He had an okay game. He threw for, I think, what, what was he? He threw for, uh, I guess he threw for 100 yards. He threw for 100 yards in the first half, and I think he threw for like 200 in the second. I could be wrong on that stat. That came from ESPN when I was watching the game. Now, Bradford had a pretty solid game. Everybody talking about Bradford this, Bradford that. For one, this is a team effort. Two, what do you expect from a quarterback that coming off an of injury like, he didn't play in really in, like, two years in the regular season. I'm not expecting much from Bradford. I am expecting him to do good, but I'm not expecting him if he does shitty. So, really for me, well, what am I really expecting from Bradford? Not much. Besides that, this leads to me having to get to the cons real quick. The Eagles receivers was not doing too well. They was not getting out in space. Now, Jordan Matthews had a good game. Now, everybody's getting at Jordan Matthews. They're probably getting at Jordan Matthews because of that one drop, and I really hope they're not because he doesn't deserve to get the, uh, to get heat from that one drop when really I'm going to get to this in a little bit with Chip Kelly and his questionable play questionable play calls, and not just him but Billy Davis as well. So, yeah, the receivers was not good getting too open. I already start, talked about the offensive line not getting there, especially the offensive line. The offensive line really did mess up with what, the, with what everything was going with the Eagles. I mean, Bradford was getting pressured. Murray lost yards. So, really, it makes you wonder, like, yo, this offensive line needs to get a little bit more better. The right guard spot is definitely in question. I mean, like, you thought Barber had it locked up. You thought Gardner had been a little bit okay. But, yeah, that right guard spot, that, 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 them guard spots are still in question. Not the center not the right tackle, not the left tackle, not any of them. It's just the guard spots that are still in question. But, yeah, other than that, those are real, real major cons in the offensive side. The defensive side, there was big problems. And this leads me to Billy Davis right here. Billy Davis, to me, I never did like him since last year when he kept Kerry Williams and Bradley Fletcher. That not only made me question the secondary of the Philadelphia Eagles, but it made me question him as a defensive coordinator. Remember, this is the same guy that left Bradley Fletcher on the islands not once, not twice, not three times, but really four times. This is the same guy that left him open that many times. Three times against Des Bryant where Des caught three touchdowns. Four when, when it went to the Washington Redskins and Deshaun Jackson was burning his ass. In fact, not in fact, probably not four or five times well when you count Kerry Williams towards that. So really, I've been stressing this since preseason of last year and of this year, and it's not changing. Fucking secondary improvements. Tell me I'm lying right now that I have not been stressing the pre uh, stressing the secondary. Tell me I'm lying. Go back to my previous videos and tell me that I'm lying. I've been stressing pre I've been stressing secondary issues ever since really Brian Dawkins, Asante Samuel, and Leo Shepard left the Philadelphia Eagles. I've been questioning th that secondary. Cause ever since they left, the Eagles never even reached top five, let alone top ten potential. 
Now tell me I'm lying on that one. Byron Maxwell had a shitty game. And I've also said this. Now people want to believe that I've been hyping Byron, Byron Maxwell up when I really haven't. Don't think I'm all the Eagles fans. Don't think I'm all of them. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm sometimes am biased. But at the same time, I'll call it how I see it. I said this since day one when Byron Maxwell was signed to the Eagles. I said he better play to the point where he earns that contract. That much money we're giving him, he better play like he better play like like, like that contract states him to be. He better be a good ass corner for the Philadelphia Eagles. That was my only question heading in. That was really my only question heading in. Is is he better than Bradley Fletcher? Is he better than Kerry Williams heading into the season? Now, I understand it's week one, but still, that was a good test for you. You was getting your ass roasted by Julio Jones. Now, I hope he learns from that because guess what? Luckily for him, he gets a little bit of a break because Des Bryant's not going to be back till week nine. So, that's a good you know wake-up call from him. Not only that, Eagles d- defense was making me ner. Well, I wouldn't say making me nervous, but that was kind of making me mad because they was not getting any pressure on Matt Ryan whatsoever. They wasn't getting any pressure on him, and sometimes when they went to the run game, they wasn't really stopping a run all that much because the Falcons did get 100 yards. So, yeah. I was kind of questioning the defensive line a little bit. They was getting some sacks here and there, but not enough to the point where there was pressure on Matt Ryan to force him to make mistakes. That's our problem. We're going to be heading into that facing the Cowboys. The Cowboys have a ma- crazy good offensive line. Ain't no denying that. And if we couldn't get pressure on the Falcons, then we're sure as hell not going to be able to get that pressure on the Dallas Cowboys. So we better get that pressure, you know, intact for week two if we're expected to beat Tony Romo. And also the run game. The run game needs serious work. We came into this game, what well, us Eagle fans came into this game having high expectations. And really, you kind of blew them a little. But the only reason why we're not as pissed is because this is the beginning of the season. You guys need to work on it, and you need to work on it fast. Billy Davis, you better get your shit to, shit together, because if you don't, I won't be surprised if Chick Kelly decides to let you go to go for somebody else. Now, part of me make me want to say that's on the players, but most of it to me is due to the coaching of Billy Davis. Billy Davis, to me, I've never did like. There's a reason why he hasn't been coaching a top 10 defense ever since he's been in the NFL. So, I question him. I'll get somebody else. That knows what they're doing on defense. And Billy Davis is not one of them. Hell, to be honest with you, what we run, a 3-4? To be honest with you, we need to run like a fucking 4-3 or something. Run what the Bills are running. You see how much success the Bills are having now? In fact, they always had that kind of success. Even before even before Rex Ryan came around, their defense was, cra- was crazy good. Now it just got even crazier with Rex Ryan. Who knows what he's doing? I don't know if he runs a... 4-3 or not, or 3-4. I don't know what he runs, but all I know is it's fucking working for the Bills. And the Eagles need to be doing that. You need to run the 4-3. Because 3-4 don't seem, I mean, like, it's okay, but it's not the kind of skin that you really want to have to run with the Eagles. 4-3 seems more like the case. So, you know, that that is how it is with me. Billy Davis, he, he, he either needs to switch up that scheme or he needs to go. Like I said before, this is the same guy that left um, Bradley Fletcher on the island. That was my biggest question heading into this season and biggest question heading into the preseason was the fucking secondary. And I've never, never once said that, that, that our secondary was good. Even when we picked up Walter Thurman and when we picked up um, Maxwell. I said it was an improvement over last year, yes, but that doesn't mean it's any good. And the only way for me to really be okay with this defense is that it has to be top 10, top 15. And so far tonight, they're not prove it. So, um, yeah, with that, and Chick Kelly's questionable play call, I have to get into this because this is very important. This really could have won us the game. What I don't understand is this. And Zompster, COO Zomp, he put this on the money right here. We was passing our ass over Bradford, and they was not stopping us in the passing game. Pass, 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 pass. They wasn't stopping us. Up until we got to, what, the 40, 30-yard line? They wasn't stopping us. 
But when you decide to run the ball with Ryan, when you decide to run the ball on third and one for this case, that really kind of made me mad. What made it further worse is that you decided to kick the field goal. And what made it even just as much bad was that you didn't have a whole lot of time to think. Why kick it with Cody Park? He went for one. Cody Park is barely showing any confidence in his kicking as it already is because of preseason mess ups. And two, why is it why stop the momentum of the offense? That right there to me pissed me off more than anything. Bradford was on a fucking roll that drive up until that point where you decide to kick the field goal and when you decide to run the ball. Pass the fucking ball. If the D if they're if they're in the rhythm passing the ball, keep doing it. Don't stop. Keep doing it. And if, like I said before, anybody get at Jordan Matthews, don't get at him because it's not his fault. If anything, Jordan Matthews ha- had a, had an okay game today besides that one drop, which, again, I'm not blaming him for. Now, I understand he, he's going to have a rough night sleeping, but that doesn't go on Jordan Matthews at the end of the day. That goes directly to Chip Kelly for shitty play calling up and up when we was at, at um, Atlanta Territory. That was terrible. He needs to work on that himself. So, I hope for Jordan Matthews, you know, he doesn't take it too hard because really if he thinks of it in the back of his mind, Chip should have did it better. And not just him, Cody Parkey as well. I mean, Cody Parkey, he didn't, he, like, I'm not necessarily putting all the blame on him because he was rushed out there. But I'm putting the blame on him because of the fact that he's having questionable field goals as of, as of lately. I know it's preseason and all, but I'm questioning on him kicking field goals. And I'm still, I'm still am. But Chick Kelly, my man, that goes completely to you. Billy Davis, that goes to you. Coaching, that goes to you. Basically, your coaching needs work. I'm sorry, you need work. You need work on that one. We're facing Dallas next week. Hopefully, that everything's been straightened out by the time we beat. By the time we could get the Dallas, I'm still saying we're gonna beat them anyway. Because even they had trouble against the fucking um, Giants. So, if anything, we're kind of on an even playing field. The only difference is the fact that the Cowboys won, luckily won, and we didn't. So, I will catch you guys later. Peace.